So you're moving to Atlanta. Fantastic. But where should you move? The North or South Atlanta suburbs? That is what we're talking about. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Daphne Bousquet, a local realtor right here in Atlanta. And I was in the exact same situation 17 years ago. We moved uh, to Atlanta from um, Fort Lauderdale and um, I had no idea where to go. Uh, we had to research everything from um, schools, areas. Uh, we were completely clueless and I just wish that YouTube had been available back then. Anyway, so um, I only had two criteria back then. I wanted um, good schools because I was pregnant, had a young son, and we needed to be convenient to the airport because my husband was traveling a lot. Well, we ended up on the south side, but that may or may not be for you. So let's dive in and really examine what is the difference between the north suburbs or the south Atlanta suburbs? So let's talk about Atlanta for a little bit and kind of examine the area. The metropolitan Atlanta area uh, consists of 15 counties and the population is 6 million, actually more than 6 million. And a fun fact, did you know that Georgia has more counties than any other state except for Texas? Yeah, I didn't know that either. But that means that um, the governments are very decentralized. So it you know, is important where you live, what city you live in, which county you live in, because all of those governments are different. Now, this can get me into a rabbit hole that I am not touching today. That's an entirely separate video, which I may or may not do, uh, but it's something to look at. The population of more than 6 million people is also not evenly distributed uh, around Atlanta at all. Actually, there are way, way, way more people on the north side than there are on the south side. In fact, the four counties that I'm kind of including in this, uh, in this video on the south side combined have fewer residents than Fulton County, uh, than Gwinnett County on the north side and just as about as many, maybe a few thousand more than Cobb County on the north side. So all those counties together, you can just imagine how crowded it is up there. So for this video, we are concentrating on the north and the south suburbs. We're not talking east or west, and we are staying outside of I-285, which is also called the perimeter. So we are OTP, as they say, outside the perimeter for this video. For some reason, I-75 and I-85 come together downtown Atlanta and then kind of cross each other and go their separate ways um, on the north side. We are staying between the borders of I-85, I-75, both on the north side and the south side. We may take, a, uh, take some of the area around uh, the highways, but that pretty much is it. So back to our question. Should you move to the north or the south Atlanta suburbs? Here are some things to consider before you decide. So the very first thing to consider is where are you going to be working? For instance, if you are going to be working in Alpharetta, it makes no sense to move to the south side. And alternately, uh, it makes no sense to move to the north side if you're going to be working in Peachtree City or Noonan. Now, one thing to consider if you do not already have a job is that there are way more jobs on the north side. And actually of the 30 Fortune 1000 companies that have their headquarters in the Atlanta area, all of them have them on the north side, except for one, and that is Delta, which is at the airport, closer to the south side. There are a few um, that are downtown as well, 
but the vast majority are all on the north side, which makes total sense because there's more people and more jobs and more resources. But what if you're going to be working mainly from home or you're traveling a lot and you need to be closer to the airport? Or maybe you're going to be working right smack in downtown so you can choose from the entire area. So let's talk proximity to downtown and to the airport. Now the airport really is a no-brainer. Um, I mentioned before my husband was traveling a lot back uh, 17 years ago, kind of back when we could still do that. And um, proximity to the airport was important for us. And we ended up in Fayette County, which is actually where a lot of pilots live. And a lot of people that work at the airport live on the south side, just because it's very convenient to get to the airport. And But when you work downtown, and that is where you're going to be spending a lot of your time, a north suburb might actually be closer than a southern suburb. But wait, not so fast, because even though it may be closer, it might take you actually longer to get to it. And that is what we'll dig into next, traffic. Population density on the north side is just a lot higher than it is on the south side. And one of the things that that brings with it is traffic. More people means more traffic. That's just the way it is. I did a little comparison from towns north of Atlanta to downtown Atlanta and towns south of Atlanta that uh, to downtown. And let's take a look. So Marietta to Atlanta is only 20 miles, but it takes you 52 minutes. Alpharetta to Atlanta is 26 miles, and it takes you an hour and two minutes. Milton to Atlanta is 41 miles, so quite a bit further, but it also uh, takes you an hour and 23 minutes. South side, we have Noonan to Atlanta, which is 38 miles, and it takes 46 minutes to get to downtown. Fayetteville to Atlanta is 24 miles and 40 minutes. And McDonough to Atlanta is 30 miles and takes you 42 minutes. Now, a lot of that depends on traffic. If traffic is heavier, it is obviously going to take you longer to get anywhere. And traffic on the north side is generally a lot heavier than it is on the south side. Regardless of where you live outside the perimeter, OTP, it will take you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to get to Atlanta. But if there's an accident, all bets are off and that can take you, uh, you know, an hour to get to the next exit. Now let's take a look at homes and home prices. Over the last six months, I took the area um, that we talked about on the north side and there were 11,292 transactions that closed and that is both um, uh, single family homes as well as condos, townhouses, which are a lot more um, prolific up north than there are down south. And the average sales price was $525,030. Now on the south side, those four counties, and I mainly uh, took uh, Coweta County, Fayette County, Clayton County, which is on the south side, and Henry County. And there were 7,691 transactions during that time. And the average sales price was only $323,839. And so home prices on the South Side are definitely a lot lower. And then you also have to think about what are you getting for that money? So a $400,000 home in Marietta looks a lot different than a $400,000 home in Peachtree City, which looks a lot different than even in a $400,000 home 
in Fayetteville. Um, and those are close behind. Generally, the further away from uh, Atlanta you get, the cheaper the homes were going, are going to be. And you'll also have more land with that home. So you also have to consider the land and the lifestyle that comes uh, with the area that you're going to be living in. And that is our next consideration. We are going to talk about schools and lifestyles. Really, what is the lifestyle you're looking for? If you have a young family, you need good schools and you'll be able to find those both on the north side and on the south side. Obviously, um, on the, the north side, there will be a lot more schools because there's a lot more kids, but you'll be able to find good schools on the north side and you'll also be able to find excellent schools on the south side. Consider the student-teacher ratios, the school district ratings, as well as the individual school ratings, which can be wildly different from school to school. Good websites to uh, research those are uh, niche.com, greatschools.org, or schoolgrades.georgia.gov. And I'm putting those websites, those links, in the description below as well. Now, with a denser population, you'll find more shopping malls on the north side. You'll find more restaurants, pretty much more of everything. However, that does not mean that they're not available on the south side. Shopping malls, you'll see more outdoor strips and a more of a relaxed atmosphere. You're not gonna see a big uh, indoor shopping malls like you might have on the, on the north side. You'll find shopping, restaurants, things to do, concerts, all that stuff on the south side as well. And if you wanna see the major uh, concerts and sporting events, you know, Atlanta is less than an hour away. There are plenty of recreational opportunities from uh, trails to hike on, uh, lakes to boat on, on both sides of Atlanta, north and south. Life is just a little slower on the south side, and frankly, I prefer it that way. I think it gives you a little bit more Georgia feel. And I get away to concerts and sporting events on the north side and in Atlanta plenty. And anytime I sit in traffic in Atlanta or on the north side, I thank my lucky stars that I don't have to deal with that on a daily basis. So now you know what to expect when you're moving to Atlanta and you kind of have a feel for the suburbs on the north and on the south side. And did you see my video on the seven things you need to know before moving to Georgia yet? You can check that one out right here.